Enter TTA text. This video will walk you through enabling the My Class feature with UM Ed blogs. Each class blog must be separate. So, if you want a separate class blog for each of your sections, you need to create additional blogs for each section beyond the first, and repeat this process to create a class blog for each one. To create a new blog, click My Sites and then Add New. To create a class blog, first make sure you are in the correct blog dashboard. From the My Sites menu, select the blog you want to become your class blog. From the blog dashboard, hover over My Class and select Create Class. The first option asks you if you want students to be able to post to the class blog. Enable this option if you want to have students post regularly to the main class blog, maybe as a guest blogger assignment. If you want to be the only one posting to the main class blog, leave this option off. Next, decide if you want to enable moderation of student posts. If you enable moderation, this means you'll have to approve every post your students make on their own blogs. This feature can be turned on and off. Next, choose privacy options for the class blog and student blogs. This selection overrides the default privacy options for everyone who joins your class. To maintain student privacy, we recommend selecting I would like only registered users of each blog to see it. Finally, decide if you want students who join the class to be able to read each other's posts by default. Click save when you are done. You'll now see new options in the My Class menu. Clicking Student Blogs will show you a list of students who have joined the class. When students go to join your class, make sure they search for the correct URL or site name. This is especially important if you have more than one class blog. You will have to approve each student's request to join a class blog. You can always go to settings to change any of the class blog options you set up in the beginning, or to turn the class blog off at the end of the semester.